And what I'd like to just show you today is a jig that I've made here for hinging doors and door jams. Uh, if you're into doing any type of finishing at all, you know that that's generally a requirement of that uh, particular job. And uh, when, I, uh, when I was out uh, doing interior finishing, I started to look at some of these jigs and that for doing the job. And they're quite expensive. You can get four or five hundred dollar jigs in that. And uh, they really, for what I was doing with it, just basically residential uh, hinging in that, I thought, well, my doors are pretty well all standard for hinge uh, uh, widths and this type of thing. So uh, I'm going to just try to make myself a jig and see how that goes. And that's what I have right here. It's, uh, it's basically a jig that I've uh, made and uh, it's, it's for hinging, uh, putting three hinges on a door. I always like to have that center hinge in there for support and stability of the, of the door. So this, this is what I've, I've used here. It's a very simple jig. I don't know if you can see it that clear or not, but I'll try to explain to you. I've just taken a couple metal strips here, just half inch U-shaped uh, strips that I've just picked up at the lumber yard. And then it, this is all three quarter inch plywood that we're made out of here. I cut a strip here, I guess what it is, about 20 inches long. Then I did the same in the center, about 20. You don't need a complete strip right through. Just basically where the center of your hinges are going to be, that's where you want to, to uh, have these uh, supports. Now when I look at the back of this thing here, you'll see I attached a three quarter inch piece of plywood here. This is a stop block actually when I mount it to the door or to the door jams so that it stays exactly the same in every, every application that I use it in. So and this now is used with a router and uh, basically it's to dado in your, your door hinges and that whether it have a round or a square shoulder to them uh, it'll do either one. You may, if it's square you'll have to finish it off with a uh, hand chisel but that's not a problem. Uh, but basically this is what it is, eh? and you'll have to do a little bit of uh, figuring on your own to do this, but that's part of building jigs too. Uh, the opening on these here, if you're using a standard hinge, will be very easy to cipher out. But uh, you will want to, want to build this according to what your uses are and that. Now this one here that I've got, this opening is a little bit more than what the, the length of the hinge is. As you can see, it'll move up and down. The reason for that is when I, uh, this is all routered out with the router, and the reason that I have that extra depth in there is I use a collar on my router, and you'll have to do that. Otherwise, your router will just be out of control and, and you won't uh, be able to uh, do this whatsoever. And I use this collar on my router along with a half inch straight bit. And uh, what I do is I set the, uh, the router runs around right on the top of this thing here. This is your, your running surface for your router. This is where your, your collar and your bit will go is into here. Okay, now you set the depth that you require. And I would suggest doing this on a, on a couple test pieces before you actually do it on the door. But get your, your hinge that you're going to be using, uh, go ahead and, and set this on a test piece until you get exactly the depth that you want, the thickness of that hinge, so that there will be a, a recess in that door or the jam to take care of that hinge. Okay. Now what you do, right on, the, right on the beginning here, you'll see that I have top marked on this here. And the reason for that is so that I get the same distance all the time on all my doors, all my uh, uh, door jams. So they're identical because you want your hinges to all line up once you get the, the two pieces hinged together here, or dado I mean. And uh, that's important. So what I do, this is always my top. Supposing that would be the top of the door over here, I would just line that up flush with the top of the door. This being the bottom part with the stop lock on, that goes underneath. So you just lay that on. I'll just move the camera down a little bit.
see that a little bit better. Moving this along here so it's flush to the top over here, uh, then the rest will take care of itself. Then what you have to do is just clamp this on to your material that you're trying to deal with. And another clamp at the other end to hold everything secure. Then with your router and that, with your, your collar installed, this just goes on into here and you go ahead and you make your router. You route everything out. Just keep working back and forth until it's cleaned right out. Same thing, then you go to your center hitch. Do the same thing back and forth until it's all cleaned out. Do your third hinge and there you should have a successful uh, uh, set of uh, dados here to mount your hinges in. Uh, uh, like I say, do a little bit of practice first to make sure that you're getting the exact fit that you want, the exact depth that you want, and it'll work for you. Thank you.